Hey everyone, this is Quad Gamer 13 back with another iPhone how to for you video. Uh, this video we're going to be discussing personal hotspots in iOS 6. What is a personal hotspot? Essentially, it is the ability to take your iDevice, an iPhone or an iPad, and utilize the software within the operating system and your data plan to create a Wi Fi hotspot or a connectivity point for other devices that do not have. Uh, data, cellular data activity so that they can connect to the internet. So someone with an iTouch or a laptop or something like that. So you're essentially cr making your device the hotspot uh, such as any Wi-Fi router you might find in a home or or your local coffee shop. So what do we do first? First we go into settings and then you go into Bluetooth, or pardon me, personal hotspot. You can see it right there. First thing you gotta do is obviously switch it on. So you flip the switch over. So it's saying it's now discoverable, the, the device is now discoverable. So what you may get here at this point, depending on what settings you have, and I'm not sure why it's not popping up for mine, is a little pop-up that says, do you want to use Bluetooth or do you want to use Wi-Fi and USB connectivity only? That gives you a choice. If you don't have Bluetooth enabled, it should prompt you to turn on Bluetooth if you want to use that as a, as a means for people to connect to you as well. Uh, for some reason it's not prompting me, so I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to flip Bluetooth on just so that we know it's on. So Bluetooth is now on, so when I go into personal hotspots, anyone should be able to connect to me either using Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or USB. Now obviously you want to set a password for people to connect to you. You, don't, you obviously don't want this wide open. So the one thing to note with this is you need a minimum of eight characters and it's alphanumeric, so we'll just put one, two, three, four, a, B, C, D to show you that it needs eight characters. Obviously I can't type very well. So uh, we'll just hit done. And so now the device is discoverable. You have your personal hotspot ready. So anyone with say an iTouch or an I, uh, a, a laptop can, can see your device and, and see it as a hotspot. And if they have this password that you have set, they connect, can connect to you. As you can see, we scroll up here a little bit they can connect via Wi-Fi Bluetooth or USB and there's are the, those are the step-by-step -step instructions for how they would do that in case it's not obvious for them it's the same as connecting to any other Wi-Fi router as I said and in case you're wondering well what exactly is my device going to be listed at as when they look for it it's going to be listed as whatever you have your device named as so we'll just go back and I'll show you what mine is we'll go into general and we'll go into about and you'll see my device is just named iPhone 5. So if someone with a laptop was now looking, was now in proximity to me, they would, you know, search for Wi-Fi signals and they'd see iPhone 5, which would be my phone, and they would want to obviously try to connect to it if they had the password, and then they would just connect to it and they would be using utilizing my data uh, through my cellular connection to uh, access the internet off of their device. So it's pretty simple, very straightforward, and obviously it's a very uh, helpful and uh, handy tool if you're someone, say, like a student, and you're with a group of people, and you're somewhere where there's no Wi-Fi access, and you're the only one with uh, with a cellular data data plan. Uh, it's a really great way to uh, you know f to allow everyone in the group to uh, connect to the internet and do whatever it is they need to do. So uh, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. And if there's any questions you have, just drop them in below the uh, video here, and I'll be happy to try to answer them. But it's pretty straightforward and. Uh, a really really nice handy feature to have. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you liked it. If you want to thumb up it or uh, subscribe to my channel, that's great. Have a good day guys.